Good morning, Brody. Happy Saturday. Slept in a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is reminding me, you guys. I didn't even show you that little painting that came in the mail of him. I need to show you it. It's just Brody and I this lovely morning because Max is skating in Philly. Honestly, the best days I wanted to kind of bring you guys through my morning when I wake up a little earlier than Brody and I get to work out and then by the time he's up, my workout's already done, we get to go on our walk. Cause I feel like on days like this where we go on our walk and then I work out, I just get ready so much later and it's later in the day, but there's no rush, no stress. I have come to appreciate our morning walks so much you guys. When we get back from our walk, you guys, Brody usually looks like this. So then this is the perfect opportunity for me to get a little workout in. That was so hard, my bun is like falling out right now. And if you could tell, I'm in my laundry room. If you didn't see my most recent vlog, it's just my bike is temporarily in my laundry room because our garage is so freaking cold. So I showered and got dressed. I touched up my curls from yesterday a little bit. I honestly like second day hair better than like the first day I do it. I just feel like it has more texture. And the first part of me getting ready, you guys, is definitely spraying a little perfume. I feel like days where I get ready and I don't wear perfume, I'm like thrown off. I feel a lot less put together. So to feel the most put together, I am going to be putting on my Dolce & Gabbana 3 Lay & Patrice. This is like one of my favorite perfumes of all time. This is just from Scentbird, you guys. So good, you can just like pull out the little vial like this. I don't even think of these as samples. I think of them as more like roller balls because they really are like a roller ball size. I know with Scentbird, the samples are actually eight times bigger than those little samples you normally see and they're supposed to be a 30 day supply. But for me, they always last so much longer. Just do a couple spritzes of this. Got this one this month and a couple others I can show you. But if you guys haven't tried out Zember before, it's just a monthly subscription where you can sample from over 600 brands of fragrance, but also cosmetics and skincare now as well. Smells so good. This is like my favorite scent. You need to try this one. And Scentbird will let you choose a new designer fragrance every month for just $15. But I know if you guys use my code Gretchen30, you will get 30% off your first month. So it's only $10 to try a new designer fragrance. Scentbird is just so nice because I can't commit to one scent. When I buy like the big bottle of perfume, it sits there forever and I feel like I never finish it. So this is a great way to actually be using the perfumes that you're buying and being able to switch it up and try new ones. And Scentbird partners with so many other brands like Burberry, there's Prada, Gucci, Tom Ford and smaller labels like Glossier but what you need to know is that you're always going to be getting 100% authentic scents all the time and then this one is the Philosophy Amazing Grace Bergamot I was so excited to try this one out because I love the Philosophy Amazing Grace just original you guys last but not least we needed to throw it back and get the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy perfume oh my gosh this brings me back to growing up my childhood this is like the best, most iconic perfume of all time. This reminds me of stealing my mom's when I was growing up. It's very nostalgic in my heart. So again, make sure you use my code Gretchen30 to get 30% off your first month at Scentbird. Again, it'll be only $10, which is so amazing. And you can take a little quiz on there, super quick and easy. You just talk about scents that you like so it can recommend fragrances that you would enjoy. And now we are going to get into my little makeup situation. Honestly, this is like the same as I've been doing it for a while. So I'm sure we'll speed through this pretty quick I'm also realizing how fair I'm looking right now I really need to self tan and if you guys couldn't tell I'm actually in our guest bathroom like second bathroom I always get right in here I don't know why I feel like it's easier in my head to separate like my other bathroom is like unwinding getting ready to go to sleep and then this one is like where I get ready and I just leave my makeup in here so yeah let's do some makeup okay first I'm using this covergirl powder and I'm still doing my makeup in this funky way that I learned from TikTok in like March and now that I've just been doing it this way for so long I feel like I can't go back and then next up I use a like setting spray this is actually a priming hydrating mist because I ran out of my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray but that one is like my favorite so whatever I think like any sort of mist will work i kind of use a lot that's probably too much um i don't know why this makes your makeup look flawless i don't make the rules but when i saw the tiktok i saw a lot of comments being like this is like a technique that makeup artists have used for a while something about this weird order that you put on your makeup just makes it look 
my pretty flawless and then you got to make sure that dries completely and then i'm using benefit professional just a little primer rub that around this brings me back to literally my og 2012 days on youtube you guys i think i first got this primer legitimately in 2012 got my beauty blender all wet and i'm using my favorite what's well, a cc cream but like kind of foundation in the shade light medium this is the matte version but i honestly think i like the original one better it's like a little more glowy it's funny how your skin changes over the years you guys because i used to have the most oily skin like in the beginning of high school and i really struggled with acne um but now my skin is so dry i think it's just changed as i've like grown up and i also remember having a dermatologist telling me that the reason my skin was so oily was because i never used moisturizer because i was so scared that it was gonna like make me break out my skin already felt oily so like why would i like be putting moisture on it like moisturizer and he was like the reason your skin is so oily is because deep down it's actually so like dry and your skin is producing all these oils because you don't moisturize it so maybe that's why my skin has gotten dry because i use moisturizer <laughs> did that make any sense i don't know but i just remember a dermatologist telling me that back in the day and i really struggled with acne but now i feel very blessed to say i haven't struggled with that in a while i think i just sort of grew out of it to be honest like now i'm I was 24 wow that's so weird to think about okay also this looks like too dark right now because i, I can't believe how pale i've gotten i usually self-tan a lot wow we're self-tanning like tomorrow ladies because i'm gonna need to put bronzer right here a little concealer i can kind of like fly through this makeup now because i do it so often it's just very like mindless and i feel like i used to have to really concentrate and i'm like okay this is like the makeup that i'm doing anytime i do do makeup do note that a lot of days I'm not getting ready like this. I just won't put on makeup and will be more chill. But honestly, the days that I do my makeup, put on my perfume, put on an outfit, I just feel a lot better. What's that phrase where it's like how you're dressed on the outside affects how you feel like on the inside? Or just to impress? No. It's like the reason that I would dress up nice for like finals in school. Do a little bronzer moment. And by little, I mean a lot. I love bronzer, especially when I need to self-tan and I'm feeling um, transparent. <laughs> Translucent, transparent, yeah, whatever. Oh, I especially love it on my forehead. I feel like it just looks like I was just traveling, laying in the sun on the beach, but we all know I'm not doing that. I look like Casper the friendly ghost over here. But don't we all, like no one's traveling right now. Unless you have to for work or like being dumb and not caring about everyone else. That's my opinion for anyone that's traveling right now. Just don't. Just stay home, right? Like how hard can it be? Let's do a little blush. I've also learned you guys in the past like year to do a little blush on the end of your nose. Maybe some of you are cringing and you're not really supposed to do that. But I started doing that with my makeup like more recently. Because again, it kind of gives that like sun-kissed look. Side note. I don't know if this has happened to any of you, but I heard such good things about the Tarte eyelash curler for so long. And then it literally was pulling out my eyelashes and I would use it. So thank goodness it got anyone at Sephora. It's just like this gold one. Like I literally cannot wear mascara without an eyelash curler because my eyelashes stick straight out, you guys. And then I usually will do a combination of these two mascaras. Let's start with the roller lash. You guys even see this? <laughs> Okay, my camera stopped recording. I did a little bit of eyebrow situation with my eyebrow pencil. A lot of times I do eyebrow gel on top, but today I can't be bothered, so we're not gonna. Layer number two with the telescopic. Oh, this mascara is my holy grail, you guys. It's so good. And don't even come for me. I always get mascara all over my eyelids, but I wipe it off later, okay. So I know I need to get back on my eyelash serum grind. I was so good with it for so long and then I ran out of my babe lash and I just ordered a new one so I can't wait to be like consistently using that again because it made such a difference in my eyelashes and made them literally grow back after all of them coming out from eyelash extensions which just ruined my eyelashes. But I can already tell a difference like they're kind of shorter without using the serum for a while and the serum just makes them like whew, little highlight. So we like to glow. Favorite place to put highlight is like right there on your nose. Do you see how it just makes my face like look awake? Hi. 
You guys always freak out whenever I use the Bare Lip Liner from Kylie and everyone's always like, oh my gosh, what is that lip color? So like a lot of the time, it's the Bare Lip Liner from, oh, from Kylie, it's so good. And I overline my lips a little bit just so they look a little more plump. It's like lip fillers, but more affordable and less like dramatic looking. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like this? I feel like lip products are always darker on me than like anyone else. Like any of my friends, they always show up lighter, but I feel like naturally I have pretty like dark lips. So anything I put on looks dark. Does anyone else feel that way? Okay, I'm gonna do what I did yesterday. I posted an Instagram in this lip and everyone was like freaking out. The bare lip liner, but I did a little Coco K, which is definitely lighter, if you can see, on top. And I feel like it just blends it together really well. I'm remembering to tell you guys about this Brody portrait on my way over to put on my jewelry because I realized I didn't even put on my rings yet. But I just looked up the brand really quick. This is from West and Willow in case you guys are wondering. And we don't know where we're gonna hang yet so we've just had it over here. And I think it's fun when he's like in his crate and then his little portrait is right here. This is from a picture when he was a little puppy so he looks younger obviously and max actually got this for me for christmas but then it took a while to ship just because they like paint this i'm pretty sure and what's really funny you guys is i had this like on a list of my phone of like a present idea for max or just like for all of us because i kept getting instagram ads for weston willow and then i never got it and it's so funny because he did so we must have both been getting instagram ads for this. i'm sure if you're watching this then you probably got instagram ads for it too i just feel like or maybe you haven't, and maybe I just do, because I um, am looking up dog stuff all the time, so then I get dog Instagram ads, but yeah, anyway, how cute. I know I haven't showed you guys yet, so we love that. So here's the finished makeup, and like I said, I realized I had my necklace on, my earrings on, but I just put on my rings, so let me show you. I always forget to put these on. I've been mixing it up a little bit, if you guys remember or know a lot of times i'll mix silver and gold tones or like white gold and gold tones like this bracelet i'll do that like for my rings but recently i've been doing just gold and i really like it i just have these ones on this hand on my middle finger it's a little cartier band with a skinny diamond band and then on this ring finger i have this little skinny diamond band with a thicker sort of braided ring from orate and then on this hand do not even look at my pointer finger because the nail broke off anyway besides the point this ring is from orate and then actually all of these rings are from orate too i love this stacked look together these three are actually all separate ones um but i really love them so yeah i've been switching up like the combinations of my rings and how i wear them together and i really like it and let me show you my outfit because i really love it it's just very cozy and casual but I don't know why, I just feel so comfortable in it, but like a little more elevated. A perfect Saturday look. Like I said, just touched up my curls from yesterday, added like a couple more in there. Oh, did I even say this necklace is from Golden Hour Company? I don't think I showed it in a vlog yet. I got it recently, I really like it. It's like a legit Louis Vuitton lock from a luggage, but just sort of like vintage repurposed with the key that goes with on this chain that's like a little thicker. So I love the way it looks together. I think it's so fun. I've actually always wanted to take my Louis Vuitton um, little lock off of my luggage to put it on a necklace, but I actually lost the key to it, so I could never take it off my luggage. Anyway, now I have this, love it. This black top I've been so obsessed with. I also got it in white, and they've been my favorite tops. I've been wearing them like every day, just from Revolve. It's just very simple, buttons up. I don't know, I just like, you can dress it up, dress it down, it's like casual. And then I just have these gray joggers from Gray Bandit, I really love them. They're like the softest material so comfy obviously fit me a little shorter because i am so tall um but i don't really mind and then my little slippers are just from amazon and if you wanted to go out and about i would wear this outfit with like air force ones but yeah just chilling at home for now so yeah that was my morning you guys it's like a very typical morning pretty simple just walking brody try to get some movement in if i have time like i said the best days or if i can work out before i walk him because then i just get it over with and i feel like everything in the morning happens like a little earlier instead of it getting shifted like later and later and i just love getting ready and doing my makeup i feel like it's taken me 23 years to realize how much getting ready and like looking presentable makes me feel like so much better i don't know if any of you guys are with me having a little curl in my hair doing my makeup putting on jewelry putting on perfume all the little things like I just feel so much better. And I'm also realizing you're probably like, Gretchen, when do you eat? So a lot of times I actually will eat before I work out. Today I didn't, which is like 
rare because I get really nervous that I'm gonna feel like lightheaded and have like no energy. I have like a weird thing about it because I used to like faint all the time growing up. So I always try to eat before I work out or else I get nervous that I'm gonna start to feel lightheaded, especially in the weights during a soul cycle class. When you do the weights overhead, I start to be like, ooh, like I'm not feeling so good. But I was totally fine. I just felt like I had enough energy to go right into my workout and that I would eat after. So a lot of times it's before I work out, I'll eat like a little banana, granola bar, um, but today I didn't, or I'll do a green smoothie. I love my green smoothie. If you guys have seen it, I'm about to make one. And it's just frozen banana, frozen mango, frozen pineapple. I do spinach, a bunch of coconut water, some superfood mix with like spirulina, all that amazing stuff, a little protein powder, and it's just so good. So I've been liking doing that for like a little breakfast because max and i will have like an early lunch together we love our avocado toast so much and i'm actually like really bad with lunch like i just don't like lunch so i've realized if i push the avocado toast which i love to lunch like i'll be excited for lunch and then i just do like oats or a smoothie or something for breakfast so yeah that's that with eating because i realized i didn't even show that but i also loved the i should show you guys i've showed these a bunch but the verb energy bars these are really good before i work out because they're just like a really little something if i'm like okay i'm not hungry but i'm just gonna eat i'll do that or look i even have like a little <laughs> half of a luna bar in here the nuts over chocolate one is so good so yeah some of my faves but I think that's it for this vlog, you guys, because I just want it to be a little morning routine, what my mornings look like, getting ready, everything like that. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.